The need for mental health services is not limited to where you live. Cortland County is lacking some basic necessities. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith shares how the Senate Majority Leader is pushing to improve care there. On the corner of Port Watson and South Pendleton streets in the city of Cortland stands this old abandoned building. No purpose to it now, but the plans to transform the building into a state-of-the-art mental health facility is what brought Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to town. Over a thousand rural residents use the program offered here by Cortland Mental Health. That number is growing. Uh, Cortland Mental Health just hit a 30-year high for patients in the clinical program, and they expect another 10% increase next year. But to keep up with that demand, several barriers, aside from the building, need to be knocked down. Better access to telehealth, more space for the clinic, for adult day treatment and other programs, expansion to other vital mental health services for children and families. This is where the Cortland County Mental Health Department is now. It's nestled on a one-way street in the city, so parking for patients is pretty limited. Plus, they're just outgrowing the space, especially as the need for services continues to rise. Well, we've already been able to meet with an architect a couple times now about the location, and what we really are excited about is that it almost doubles the space. It improves the technology and the access for telehealth services, which is something we've added on during the pandemic. So the hybrid need of in-person plus telehealth services is better met at this location. Plus, just an amazing, historic, wonderful legacy of this building matches the legacy of our department and the services as public servants of what we offer. So it brings back a vacant building. Hopefully put to good use within the next two years. In Cortland, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. With American Rescue Plan funding, $2 million has already been set aside to build a new mental health center. About $3 million more is needed.